USPAP page 170. Advisory opinion 36 continued. In the assignment, because an appraiser's obligations to other intended users may impose additional development and reporting requirements in the assignment, it is essential to establish a clear understanding of the needs of all intended users. A party receiving a report copy from the client does not, as a consequence, become a party to the appraiser slash client relationship. Parties who receive a copy of an appraisal or appraisal review report as a consequence of disclosure requirements applicable to an appraiser's client do not become intended users of the report unless they were specifically identified as intended users by the appraiser at the time of the assignment. Disclosure of client and other intended users in an appraisal or appraisal review report. Except when specifically requested by the client not to do so, an appraiser must state the identity of the client in the report. Other intended users, if any, may be identified by name or type. The purpose of this reporting requirement is to, number one, ensure that the client and other intended users can recognize their relationship to the assignment and report. And number two, ensure that parties other than intended users will not mistakenly assume that they are the client or an intended user. For example, a statement similar to the following may be appropriate. The report is intended for use only by identify the client and identify any other intended users by name or type. Use of this report by others is not intended by the appraiser. If the client's identity is omitted from a report, the appraiser must, number one, identify the client in the work file, and number two, provide a notice in the report that the identity of the client has been omitted in accordance with the client's request and that the report is intended for use only by the client and any other intended users. Identification of the intended use in an appraisal or appraisal review assignment. Identification of the intended use is one of the assignment elements necessary to properly identify the appraisal or appraisal review problem. Identification of the intended use helps the appraiser and the client make two important decisions about the assignment. The appropriate scope of work for the appraisal or appraisal review development process and the level of detail to provide in the appraisal or appraisal review report. Disclosure of the intended use in an appraisal or appraisal review report. An appraiser can avoid misleading parties in possession of an appraisal or appraisal review report by clearly identifying the intended use in the report and stating that other uses are not intended. For example, a statement similar to the following may be appropriate. This report is intended only for use in state the use. This report is not intended for any other use. The intended use description provided in the statement must be specific to the assignment. Each of the following assignments involves the same subject property and the same type and definition of value. What changes are intended use and intended users?